Hey guys, Audrey from Piping Hot Artworks, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make an industrial toilet paper holder like this one. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Audrey from Piping Hot Artworks, where we turn the ordinary into the extraordinary. And on this channel, we focus on industrial home decor and all things rustic. That could be fun crafts, fun DIY, and definitely a lot of cool piping stuff. So today we're teaching you how to make a really cool industrial pipe toilet paper holder. And the good news is it costs less than $10. Cha-ching! Woo! You win. Stick around and I'll teach you how. Okay, first things first, you're going to need your parts. So we buy ours in bulk at Supply House, but you can pick them up at any local hardware store. And we typically do a half inch size um, black iron pipe. You can choose any size you want, but just keep in mind that some of them are going to look larger than others. And it's very easy. You just simply twist the pieces together. You can paint them beforehand. You can kind of see that we paint our flanges and our elbows um, by themselves so that the color looks a little bit more clean but do whatever you're most comfortable with I did a video where I painted pipes a whole bunch of different metallic colors which I will link in the uh, description below so check that out if you're interested in some more designs so it's really that simple you just kind of twist them all together and then paint them and you're done all right so we've measured out our area that we want it to be in we've marked it with two different pieces of painter's tape and made sure that it was even on each side. Placed our piece on the wall and leveled it and then put dots in the middle of each of the flanges. If you guys felt like this went a little too fast, don't worry. I have a PDF file that you can download that walks you through step by step everything you need to do to install. I do want to point out that if you're using the appropriate size drill bit, you can actually use your finger sometimes to even push the wall anchor into the holes. So you may want to try that first before you start hammering them like crazy. Okay, so our piece is done and I wanted to make sure that I reminded you guys that before you install anything, you should be looking at the size of your toilet paper roller, this uh, black piece that I'm showing you um, right there, because that's going to determine how far away each of the flanges need to be from one another. So make sure you're using that as a guide um, prior to installing. Otherwise, you may have to install it multiple times just to make sure that it fits. So measure twice and cut once but in this case measure twice and install once okay our pinterest challenge is complete we demolished that beast and i hope you guys are happy with the results i know i am and i love it because i use it every day and if you're wondering where you can get the black toilet paper rod that we were using that's actually a product of ours, Piping Hot Artworks. So I believe we are one of the only brands, if not the only, to offer it in black. Why? Because my customers asked for it in Adaluva. So you're welcome. Enjoy. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please, please, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel. YouTube likes it for the algorithm. And if you got a question or a comment, go ahead and put that bad boy down below in the comment section. I appreciate you guys, and we're super thankful that you're tuning in. So I hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see you next time.